Welcome to this video on using Replay Manager with SQL Server Availability Groups. In this video, I am going to show some of the differences in Replay Manager when using availability groups, as well as how to recover secondary databases using Replay Manager. For this video, I have a database called Test AG1 that is being protected by an always-on availability group, with DBSQL01 as the primary and DBSQL02 as the secondary. The availability group has been configured and is currently healthy and in a synchronized state. Using Replay Manager, I am going to protect my secondary database by taking a replay. This will serve as the basis for the recovery of my secondary database. To do this, I am going to make sure I have my DBSQL02 instance selected. Select the Test AG1 database and choose Create Backup Set. For this demonstration, I am just going to take the defaults and click Submit. Once the snapshot process is complete, I can see that I have a replay available of my secondary database. Now that the replay is complete, it's important to note that since Replay Manager is running on a clustered instance of Windows, we can see all of the replays for both servers in Replay Manager. If I turn off the filter on Available Instances option, I will see all replays regardless of which SQL instance I am connected to. However, even though I can see them, I can only use them on the instance that they were created on. To avoid confusion, I recommend turning on the Filter on Available Instances option when working with availability groups. Checking in with my availability group in Management Studio again, I can see that after our replay it is still in a healthy state and all is well. After some time I've been alerted that there is an issue with the secondary database. Looking at Management Studio, I can see that my secondary is not synchronizing due to some sort of issue. I determined that I ran out of space on my transaction log volume. Luckily, with the Dell Storage Center it was an easy fix to expand the volume. Now I've fixed the issue but in the meantime, my database was put in a suspect state, and my next task is to get the availability group back into a synchronizing state. I just need to remove the database from the availability group, recover the database using my replay, and then add the database back into the availability group. Let's get started by removing the database from the availability group. Next, I'm going to go to DBSQL02 and go ahead and remove that database. Next, using Replay Manager, I will recover this database from the latest replay. To do this, I will select my restore point, click Restore, Make sure the Do Not Recover Databases option is selected and click Restore. Now that the database has been recovered using the latest replay, I see that my Test AG1 database is in a restoring state. At this point, I need to apply my latest transaction log backups. Note that on my log restore, I use the no recovery option as well. Now I will join the database to the availability group once again. Use the Join Only option, since the database has already been synchronized. Once the database has been joined and the dashboard refreshes, I see that my availability group is healthy once again. For more information on using Replay Manager with SQL Server, consult your Replay Manager Administrator's Guide. Additional resources such as videos, white papers, and best practices documents on using SQL Server with Replay Manager and or Dell Storage Center 
are also available at DellTechCenter.com. Thanks for watching.